page. Experience Builder has two page types, scrolling and the full screen. So what's the difference and how would you use them? What is a scrolling page? It is like a skyscraper. Do you know a skyscraper is a tall building? People can visit one floor at a time, and you need to use elevator to visit other floors. Similarly, a scrolling page is a long page, and the user can only view one part of the page at a time, but you can scroll to navigate more. In a scrolling page, the content is arranged top to down. You create the content flow by flow, that is block by block. Experience Builder provides multiple templates to help you build the flow. We have block templates and also screen group templates. We will explain these two later. Now, Jen will bring us a demo about the scrolling page. In a scrolling page, things are organized from top to bottom, block by block. You can drag a widget from the widget list to the empty area. A block will be created automatically. Or you can add blocks from the block templates. We provide six block templates. And also you can add screen groups from the screen group panel. There is no boundary at the bottom of the screen page. You can add as many blocks as you wish. Also, you can drag widgets to the existing block. And uh, if you want to adjust the order of the block, you can drag the handler to move to adjust the order. And also, you can use the up and the down arrow to change the order of the block. This is an example of scrolling page. You can use a scroll bar to navigate the page. Thanks, Jen. Then, what is a full screen page? It is like a single story house, which has only one, one floor and no elevator. Similarly, full screen page has only one block um, that is full screen, and the user won't have scrolling navigation. In a full screen page, you can place widgets randomly, just like sticky notes on a whiteboard. However, you have to decide the size and the position. The widgets can be overlapped. Let's see how it works. There is no strict rule on a full screen page. You can drag a widget on the page and uh, change the size. You can drag to put the widget anywhere you want. But the full screen page has boundaries. You cannot make the widget out of the boundary. We provided several useful tools to help you align the widget. You can align the widget to the left, horizontal center, or to the right. Uh, to the top, vertical center, and uh, to the bottom. Also, you can set the widget to take the full width, full height, or the full size. The widgets of a full screen page may be overlapped with each other. For example, here the small image is covered by the larger image. We provide four menu items to change their Z order. You can send a widget back or move it front. Here is an app created from a full screen template. You can float some widgets on top of the map. Mm -hmm. 